Hi, here's a quick tutorial about how to make a low poly flower in Blender. I'm going to start with the cube, turn to the side 3 key and then scale it down. S to scale and constrain to the Z axis by pressing the Z key. If you look at the cube from the top now, you'll see a square and we are going to make this petal shaped. Make your shape transparent by pressing Alt and Z and then box select the vertices by pressing the B key and dragging a box around them. It's important that your petal is transparent so that you get both the top and the bottom vertices. You press E to extrude and then drag your mouse down, click left to set. This new box is going to be made smaller by pressing S to scale, but only on the X axis by pressing X. If you forget to do this and you reduce the size on all axes, you'll end up with a petal that's too thin, at least for low poly work. So continue just to extrude with the E key, set with the left mouse button, and then scale your vertices S to scale and X to constrain on the X axis until you get a petal shape. It doesn't have to look exactly like the one that I'm making here, but try and make it similar. Bear in mind the size of the flower that you'll be using, if you're going to be using it in-game, for example. Maybe the flower will be minuscule, and so you won't have to worry about the curve on the petal being smooth, because it won't show so much. So there I am with my petal, I'm pretty happy with it. We can see it from the side. I'm just going to box select a few of the rows and bring them down a little to make the petal more curvy. You can also add more rows if you like by pressing Ctrl and R. So there's our petal, looking pretty good. We're going to turn to the side now, pressing the 3 key, and then select Proportional Editing at the top there. There's a lot of different proportional editing tools, but we'll choose the smooth one. We're going to pick some vertices in the middle of our petal, and then just bring them up to give the petal a curve. So box select and then grab with the G key, constrain on the Z axis. You can move the middle mouse button to make the circle of the proportional editing selection more larger or smaller. There. It looks a lot more like a petal now. So now we're going to take our petal and bring it up so the middle of the petal is just above the cursor in the middle of the screen. I'm going to leave a little room for the middle of the flower. Now we're going to create an array of these petals and we're going to turn that array around an empty uh, which will be in the middle of the screen. Add an empty, you do add just empty and plain axes. Uh, this should have arrived in the middle of the screen, if it didn't put it there. You don't have to do anything with this, with the properties on this empty. You have to make sure that your transforms are applied on this petal. So you can pr press Ctrl and A and then select all transforms. Uh, if, you're, if you start having a different result than I have here, you, you should check again the transforms on the petal. You then go into the properties panel for the petal by selecting the petal and going into properties. Select add modifier and array. Make as many petals as you'd like. Me, I made five. And now we're going to turn the cursor so that the petals follow the cursor. But first, we have to 
link the petals to the cursor. We do this by selecting Object Offset and then selecting the Empty, sorry, not the cursor. So now everything's linked together. All we have to do is select the cursor and rotate by pressing R to rotate. And there we go, you've got the petals of the flower and it's starting to look quite good. So let's add the pistil of the flower, which is the middle of the flower. I looked it up by adding a UV sphere, add mesh UV sphere. And before you move the sphere, change the number of vertices to eight so that we don't have a massive uh, amount of vertices for such a small thing. So to model the base of the flower, I'm just going to add a loop cut in the middle of the, the sphere, there, by pressing Ctrl and R, and then press S to scale and scale it up a little bit. And that will give you a nice base for your pistil. So we're going to make this sphere a little less spherical by selecting the top vertices, pressing S to scale and scaling it on the Z axis. And then we're going to make the stem of the flower by selecting this vertice in the middle of the sphere, deleting it by pressing X, delete vertice. And then we select all of the vertices that are around the gap that we just made. E to extrude, Z to constrain on the z-axis and s to scale down a bit so that the first part of our stem isn't too straight. Then e to extrude right the way down. So there's a little bit of cleaning up to do. All you have to do is apply that array. So you select the petals. Then you click this arrow button in the modifier panel and select apply. Then you need just to delete the empty that's in the middle. You won't be needing that anymore. So there you go. A pretty virtual flower, especially for you. Bye.